Joining us now on mining.com.au is the CEO of Critica Limited, Jacob Dysel. Now, Jacob, I understand you're new to the role in Critica, and we're talking today about Australia's largest clay-hosted rare earth project, that being Jupiter at the Brothers in Western Australia. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Nice to uh, join you this morning. So, um, yes, when I stepped into the CEO role, um, we immediately started to reposition and rebadge Critica. Um, we were really shifting away from being um, an explorer to Australia's next rare earth developer. Um, I'm a mining engineer by background, um, nearly 30 years experience in building, operating, turning around multi-metal um, um, projects. And I think Jupiter um, rare earth asset um, differentiate itself. And if I have to summarize that, probably I could summarize that in three words. The one is scale, the second is simplicity, and the third is speed. Now, as you mentioned, from a scale perspective, we are Australia's largest clay hosted rare earth deposit. We've got a, um, a global resource of 1.8 billion tons at 1700 parts per million. Um, and I think, you, you know, the key part for me is, although rare earths are 17 elements, we are focusing specifically on the magnet rare earths. And there's only four of them. That's neodymium, praseodymium, terbium, and dysprosium. And they are these quiet enablers of modern life. They go into, they operate into electric vehicles, wind turbines, defense systems, medical systems. And I think, you know, the key part to it and why we are so focused on that, it carries about... 85 to 90 percent of the the basket value of any project, so they are very significant in in a market um, in the market space. They are ubiquitous in modern technology, and the demand in this industry is absolutely surging. Now, when we talk about simplicity, and I think this is really a key piece that stood out for me um, um, around Jupiter, and it's it's why Jupiter's geology is different from our competitors. Unlike ionic clay. Jupiter's mineralization allows us to beneficiate upfront, which means um, through very simple processes, magnetic and flotation, we can easily reduce the mass by 95% and upgrade the grade by 800%. So we're taking that 1,700 parts per million that we spoke about, and we upgrade that to 10,000 to 20,000 parts per million. Now, what that means is the grade goes to 1% to 2%. TREO, and that is a significant benefit that we have uh, in the project. Now, in simple terms, what that means, that potentially translates into lower capital because you've got a lower footprint and lower OPEX um, as a result. And then the third piece here is just really speed. As I mentioned, under my leadership, we are accelerating, and that's the exciting announcements we had in terms of both um, Ansto, Munitech, and Gavacue. Yes. Now let's talk about that. I know these are three different things happening sort of in parallel. We've got basically an attempt to de-risk in multiple fronts. That's correct. Yes. I think, you know, the the aspect, let's talk briefly just in terms of Anster Immunitech is really what they are doing for us. They are independently doing leech tests on this concentrate that I mentioned that we've upgraded this um, by 800 times to produce our first commercial product, which will be what's referred to as an EMREC or a mixed rare earth carbonate. And ANSTO is doing certain part of that. And then in parallel, Munitech is doing a complementary hydrometallurgy program to do exactly the same, to, to finalize or at least map out that process route for us in terms of um, what I would say from mine to magnet. That's what this EMREC uh, is about. And then GABAQ is the third, um, the, the, the third laboratory that's looking after specifically upgrading that front section where I mentioned we're able to take our, our resource and upgrade that through very simple magnetic and flotation. GABAQ is taking that portion and it's scaling it up so that we can do that at a larger scale. We're going to transfer or tr uh, treat about 3,000 kilograms of material through that. That will give us more of this upgraded concentrate, which will then go into our process to further um, optimize our mixed rare earth carbonate. So these are very exciting processes as it maps out our, pro our flow sheet um, going forward. So with this pilot plant, 
the test work to produce the MREC to production and the hydrometallurgical assessments. Tell us what news flows will be coming in first and when can we start to hear about all of these updates? Yeah, so um, I think there's a, there's a number of near-term catalysts here. Um, I think the important piece for us has always been to, to get to a point where we produce this mixed rare earth carbonate. And, and maybe if I could just briefly explain what that is, it really what it is, it, it, it's taking this beneficiated con, con, concentrate that we have and it leached the rare earths into a solution and all of the unwanted material can then be removed. And then we take, we add a carbonate again to that liquid solution that contains the rare earths that we're looking for and specifically those four that I mentioned. And it, it precipitates that back into uh, a powder format. And that's essentially the, the emery. Now, this is a metallurgical process. So um, it's sometimes difficult to put a timeline around it because it is a bit of a trial and error piece. Um, but we've high confidence that um, this work will allow us to move rapidly into a scoping study. And if all goes well, I would like to deliver a scoping study by before, before the end of first half next year. Those are ambitious targets, but we see how much you've already done since joining the company. So we look forward to speaking with you again soon, Jacob. Thank you very much. A pleasure to join you this morning. <laughs>